just froze like this. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, whatever. Wait a minute. Are, are, are you stuck or am I stuck? But anyway, we talked yeah, about a lot uh, of cool things bad, today. This is a bad connection, too. We do. We talk about space. So that's it's exciting. About it's about um, space. What, what else we do? And then um, when I do drop, when my internet does go down, Scott panics and uh, just shuts the whole show down. So I have no idea what he said or anything like that. But he didn't read down the text. The last two minutes, it was okay. But I'm, I'm here. I'm here on this little screen. You're on this little screen. And lo oh, wow. Look, now we can take a picture of his current coronia. Oh, my God. Never mind. We we're going to use it to hack into the system. But I couldn't get him hack, out of it. We couldn't hack into the one that Steve was talking about with the lava lamps. You got to find out what Steve was talking about, though. That was cool. There he goes. He's going upside down. <laughs> it's that bad. Did you see that? Yeah, that's weird. But anyway, folks, yeah, watch the show. It's yeah, better than watch Steve Scott here. Panic at the end. Watch Scott Panic at the end there. Bye! Yeah, bye, 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 bye. Welcome to the Don't Know Show, your time to unwind and leave your worries behind. This is the show being hosted by a robot. So stick around and enjoy. And tell your friends you watch the show hosted by the robot. I'm the robot. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And I'm not the robot. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, a podcast, and a live Twitch stream. And we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world uh, today. Ah, uh, but before we get to that, you know what we got to do? We got to get you guys to go down there and like, subscribe, and share. It really, really, really helps. Yeah, so Scott is in a bad mood. Scott, why don't you tell everybody why you're in a bad mood? Uh, Your team lost the playoffs. Your bracket lack is of, broken. Lack do you know what either one of those things mean? Yes, I do, actually. Okay. Pray tell. Uh, well, the bracket is broken has to do with the NC, is it NCAA or March Madness thing? Anyway, so your bracket died. I forgot what the first thing, but I say the first thing again. Your team's out of the playoffs. Okay, which could be that or it could be any sports team that was in the playoffs and, you know, soccer and well, Europe and anything. Okay, what, what U.S. sport is coming up on playoffs next? I'll give you I'm hint. going to have to say hockey. Yeah, very good. Wow. I didn't have to give you a hint. Yeah, I had to That's think good. about it because we're just talking about basketball and NCAA, but I don't think the – Well, the, the basketball boys. playoffs start right after the hockey playoffs. I mean, they okay. they, they coexist at some point. They would sort of – yeah, I sort of remember that because when we were playing, uh, doing Gen Con and stuff, there was a time where we had to move all our stuff out of there because they had – to play basketball in one room and hockey in the other. Same building. Really weird. Yeah. Uh, so um, we usually talk about uh, the pictures behind us first. And yes. then we talk about, but Scott's so crabby because why are you crabby, Scott? Uh, we lost because our castle in each two, and it was partially Because he fault. didn't know something. He thinks it's his fault because he didn't know something. I didn't know. Hey, ignorance is not an excuse, according to the law. Yeah, according to the law. And what law is lineage to? <laughs> the law of the clan leader. The ignorance, ignorance to the law is no excuse, but I didn't That's know. That's right. So, yeah, I mean, who's going to, you know, didn't somebody in your, there was nobody else in the room. The other people said, no, I mean, come on, give me a break, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's not like she's mad at me. She's just mad that she lost. I'm just like, we're all very upset that we lost our castle because we're not a wimpy clan, but they have three of the most powerful people on the server because of the amount of money that they spend. We only have one. They do. So or they the, do. or the, the, the people the you're playing do. with do, or the people who took over do the people who took over. Okay. There's one guy, so, just to tell you how bad it is, I hit him for 10,000 damage. He hits me for 900 billion damage. Okay. So that is like stupid. So again, why are you so, what, why are you crying? Because, honestly, because no, 
if if I had known that one thing, we probably would have been able to keep the castle because it's we're very good at defending because you know they come after us every single siege. I mean, they just come in at us full force and we hold them off. But once you're out, getting back in is a bitch. Okay, so life, Mary, die, dude. Yeah, but that's okay. I ha I have I have a I'm having a cat scan right now. You're having a cat scan right now? Yep, I'm having a cat scan right now. Is that your segue? It's my segue. See, there's a cat a scan. Cat butt coming out of your ear, so that's for your that's your well, segue. Um, that is Banjo, the cat that is not ours but lives in our house. But he he's still relatively young, so he he How went out in snow and played. How do you know his name is Banjo? Because we know who actually owns him, but they're not, they're the ones that moved. I don't know if they moved to Mexico for just the winter and they're coming back in the summer or if they're gone, gone. If they're gone, gone, <laughs> Banjo becomes ours. Yes, so, exactly. So the cat's name is legitimately Banjo. Yes. Crazy, man. Yep. That's crazy. But he's cute. So what's he going on like behind you in your picture there, dude? Oh, that's the other thing. We got snow. We've had no snow since January, and we got four inches of snow. It, it stuck it on the deck. You, spring. you see that? You can see the snow still coming down because the cat's getting covered with it, right? Becomes spring, and you yep. Look, look at the driveway. Absolutely nothing. Nothing on the roads. Nothing on the driveway. But four inches of snow. And Milwaukee got eight inches of snow. They had to plow their streets. They had four inches on the roads. It is It is a weird... Well, remember last week we were talking about how nice it was and how beautiful yep. it was. And, and I said, yeah, Surprise. we had snow in Vegas on Friday. Yep. We had snow. And the temperatures were up like 70. I think it hit 80 one day. Well, guess what? Those days are over. The highs now are back in the 50s. The low tonight oh. will be 49. I thought you were going to say that's over. We're up to the hundreds now. <laughs> no, no. It's going back down. Ooh. I just hit a clip, a beep in my ear. What Back made, down to the mm. dew points, down to 25, and the barometric pressure is dropping like a rock. Well, that explains why you have a hibiscus in your head. You're trying to keep your bald head warm. Really? Isn't that a hibiscus in your head? Really? Really? Tell me, Steve, is that a hibiscus or is it not a hibiscus? I don't know. I can't get out of the way. It's a hibiscus. I can't get out of the way. Why can't I get out of the way? Well, we won't go there. So, I did a and picture. it is. It was a pretty picture. Yeah. It's, the photographer I, took it did a good job taking a picture. Uh, you mean Peggy? Nope, she wasn't there. Okay. No girl. It wasn't me. I wasn't there. No car. So, but anyway, so where was there? I see a sign, but you can't read it. That's is it a swimming because, pool? That is because it's is it good depth Disney, of field. Disney? Hawaiian Rumble Adventure. So it's gone. Okay. I would Orlando, assume that's Florida. Orlando. Orlando. Could so. I don't think that's, is that a pool or is that just a pond? Water hazard, that's the grass. <laughs> the natural green. Ah, grass. We got grass. Well, it's artificial grass for miniature golf. There you go. Oh, that's right. You talked oh, about the miniature oh, golf. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's yeah. not the kind that we have here. It's a different kind. So if you want to feel better, this is what you should do. You should get food. Uh, food, yes. So. I had I Chinese this, food while I was playing. I saw this was cheap. So this could okay. be <laughs> it's, I wasn't going to say that. Every once in a while, something cheap turns out to be really good because they're just trying to either, you so, know, get people to know what it is or, you know. So this is the Target brand. Okay. Good and gathered. Good and gathered. Okay. Is, is that not Cho Cheese? Not yet. Now Cho Cheese? Actually, on the chip, it looked more like um, 
queso, which is basically a type of cheese, but the jar makes it look yellow, but the chip, it didn't look yellow on the chip. It's yellow. Yellowish. Okay. Uh, made with a creamy cheese blend, red bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, and diced tomatoes. Okay. And you know what? So it's, it's a little spicy. For being a, uh, well, if I knew how to eat. <laughs> for um, for being um, not. Oh, yeah. Brand. Now I saw the yellow this time. Okay. Yep. Well, see that you, know, you don't see it. That looks lighter. Yeah. The closer you get, probably because it's getting the light from you know above you. Uh, that's a lot yellower. It almost looks green. It almost probably could be green, right? It's still a little green. So you're eating. You're eating Tostito rounds, or were those cups? Yeah, rounds. Tostito rounds. With spicy dips, cheese, and a banana. That's your dinner. Oh, you're going to dip the banana. Okay. Yeah, cheesy banana. Well, let's see what you say. Have you eaten cheesy banana before? No? Okay. What do you think of cheesy banana? You know what the banana does? I would assume it, it chills it, out the, the spice a little bit. Yeah, it takes it completely out. Okay. That would make sense because one of the things you can eat if you're having uh, indigestion is a banana. So what else are you going to eat? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, instead of our normal show where we talk about interesting things, Steve's going to eat. Okay, is that a chocolate covered pretzel? Now that with the banana is definitely going to taste good. I used to. Do you remember chocolate covered bananas in the freezer? Okay. We I. Our own. One of the things I didn't like about them was the banana being frozen didn't taste as banana y as a non frozen banana does. So uh, right, of course, yours isn't frozen, so that probably tastes really numby together. Now I do know that when when I was a kid, we had a fondue pot at the house, and w that's what we would do: is we'd put chocolate in there and dip bananas in, and it was really, really good. Kind of like a choco taco. Okay, that oh, choco tacos coming back. Did I tell you that? Yeah, we had that in our show. Yeah, the straw place. Ice right. cream place called something straw. Yeah. So that looked thinner than a regular pretzel. Why did it look thinner? Pretzel crisp, dark chocolate crunch. So there's they're technically healthy er <laughs> ish. That's it, healthy ish. Okay, they are thinner. That's why it looked like that. The pretzel crisps. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You've seen those, right? I have we tried them once when they were on sale. You didn't like them? They were okay. It's just I I I'm sort of like it's one of those things that once or twice a year I have a good craving for pretzels. And actually what I really like is peanut butter pretzels. That was See. so weird that banana took all the heat. Yeah. Oh, it was the uh the queso. Makes sense to me. Crazy. I really did get a kick out of that cat. He's so much fun. So Not yours. Okay. Is that, I well, had nacho cheese and that's nacho cat. <laughs> well, we'll find out come summertime. If they don't come back, it's our cat. Because he's in our house half the day. Did they rent where they lived? I thought they owned it. They were doing some work on it. And did then it they, go up for sale? Did you see it? I never saw it go up for sale. You so. know, you can go online and check the address. And, uh, yes. So, like I said, it. I have a sneaking suspicion that you they went care. to Mexico for this for winter. They're snowbirds, I'm going to say. You know, there were yeah, people you, here you still know. working on stuff. You, you don't know. care, which is fine. Yeah, well, you I do, care. but I don't because we. I tried to be friendly with them, and at first they were, but then they got all mad that we keep feeding their cats. 
And it's like, you have to feed your own cats. If you don't feed them, they're going to go elsewhere, which is what they do. Everybody in this neighborhood feeds these cats because she doesn't feed them. Uh, you know, yeah, well, the weather granted sucks. Granted, she gets them fixed, but. Yeah, so the weather sucks. Yeah. For being spring, the weather sucks. Now, the interesting thing about sucky weather is it can ruin one of those lifetime events. Well, tonight is a lifetime event. No, tonight is a well tomorrow. rare. Yeah, but it's not a lifetime. Those you can well, a couple of. Uh, what's lifetime to you? The Nova that we got a chance of seeing this year. That's our last story. Are you jumping ahead? You're going no, to the I, end of the show? I okay, everybody, thank story. you for watching. <laughs> if you feel our show is not a bad idea, please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. There's something you're forgetting, though. That you don't follow any form of uh, of a show subject? Well, I, I did not pan down. You wrote all. the goddamn positivity message I in the, did the week. That, I started, yeah, I, this is what I've learned to do because I kept being scrambled on Sundays because all the stuff going on on Sundays. When yeah, I'm still doing, the, when we get when down I'm doing the editing for the show during the middle of the week, I'm starting to do those because it, that way I don't so have to worry about it. Yep. It just made more sense. Uh, so what are we doing then? Are, are we going to follow the show? Are we, yeah, are we we'll follow yeah, the we'll, show outline or are we just jumping yes, around? We'll, we'll follow the show outline with the No, let's just jump around. Clip. I like jumping around better. Oh. All right. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? There. Is that enough jumping around for you? No. I'm, gonna I'm dizzy. Go, I'm going to piss Scott off now. Ooh. Are you ready? I'm invisible, so he doesn't know I'm here, and I'm going to take his castle because oh. he turned his sound off. Oh. Nice going, dummy. Guess what? The sound's on this time because I learned. So, and and not only that, my my sound is telling me that <laughs> that you're faking talking again. <laughs> that time I could tell the difference. I wasn't thinking. I cut the sound off. Oh, okay. It's just a, it's just a button you can hit. Look, it's a button. Yes, called the I can mute just click button. it and click it and unclick. Hey, you know something? I could click mute you too. Yeah. You know, like, duh, duh. All right. So, anywho's, um, anywho's, I had a before we get to the lunar thing. I had a good, nice, fun wedding this past weekend uh, with the bus, and we did I'm pretty yes. And we have should have some new people in here tonight. Uh, hopefully this is this how you're acting when we have new people in us. here? I act like this all the time, Steve. What is different? Oh, that is hilarious. Can you see that? It's going to get cut that? off in the edit. What am I missing? Oh, my screen or your screen? My screen. It stopped. Oh. That is freaking hilarious. Something on the edge of your screen was weird? It was upper oh. right. Yeah, I, upper, I, I, upper left. It's uh, right. I see it. Yeah, it's the uh, you must have daylight still. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Um, I see that on yours every once in a while, but again, so it gets Apple, cut off. So Apple had that. They they turned it on a new feature. If you had an Apple phone or anything like that, and with a okay. hand gesture, you would get like uh, balloons going off or fireworks going off and stuff like that. Okay. A gesture. Now, if you saw that in the news or not. No. But. Um, it turned it on. People didn't know about it. And this one guy's getting fired. And he, and he go, oh, I'm sorry, you're fired. And the guy made the hand gesture. And he's, wow. <laughs> it's like, yay, thank you for firing me. Now I can get a real job. No, no, no. The guy who fired him, they went off on his because he made the gesture. Oh. They go off on yours when you make the gesture on your side. Oh, yeah. They go yeah, off You're fired you. and we're so happy yeah, about it. We're throwing a party. <laughs> Yeah, like some celebration went off. I forgot, I forgot what it's called, but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. Um, so where are we at? What do you want to do? You're you're driving, baby. Well, we're talking about a time and a date for a lunar eclipse, and according to this, we can see it if we're in Pinu. And what? Pinu. 
That's what the screen says right now. It says March 24, 25, 2024 in Pinu. Dot, dot, dot. What? I realize there's more there, Steve. I'm trying to get you to cheer up a little bit. I don't know what you're... I know you're a little depressed. I don't see Pinu. Where do you see Pinu? Um, oh, that's because my cursor is on the link, so it opened up one of those drop-down boxes with that information of what the link is going to. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Okay, well... Oh, if you click the little preview link. Yes. Oh, my God. Nobody can see that. you look at that. her butt. I know nobody can see nobody that. Nobody can... Look, here, let me they show you the show. You don't need to see that. Here, oh, here, my here. goodness, Steve. Here, you, 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 right, that, you were see, so, so weird. There, there's, there's a show, sorry, if you click on that... So, are you Laurel or am I Laurel? You're both. I'm Laurel and Hardy? Ooh! March 24th to 25th, 2024. That's Penumbra. See? Pinu. Pinu. It says penumbral. It does not. It says Pinu with three dots. Penumbral you lunar eclipse. It. Okay. And it says the whole eclipse is visible over all the United States. That's unusual. That's why it's, that's why I said this is one of a, I mean, I think this happens, what, every seven years or tw how often does this happen? I don't know. Is it 7, 20, or 40? See, the problem is I've seen a few of them. So I, but you know. Well, it's not a once in a lifetime, but it's a very rare. But you've seen yes. the complete, at least twice. Yes, once when I was a kid in grade school. It, it, yeah, we went outside and saw it. Once I was a little bitty boy. See, oh there it is. See, whole eclipse visible right there in the middle. Look at that, all United States. It's pretty, well, that's pretty well, good, except for a little part of Alaska. Yeah, the part that's in Russia. Um, but yeah, um, so that'll be cool. So that's this morning. So those of you on Twitch, uh, 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hmm. The penumbral eclipse hmm. begins on March 24th at 9 at 9.53 p.m. Vegas time. UTC time is March 25th at 4.53. So that's AM. Mm. So that means it's happening right now for me. The maximum eclipse. Oh, no, that's backwards, right? Because it's 9 at your time would be 11. Yeah, 9 o'clock my, my time would be 11 o'clock your time. Well, it's actually right. closer to 10. So it'd be midnight your time. The okay. maximum eclipse happens at close to 1 o'clock my time, which would be 3 o'clock your time, 3 a.m. I'll be asleep by then, yeah. No, you'll get up. You'll get up to see it. You'll get up to see it. But did you well, know that? Well, considering that we got snow or, or some more snow coming tonight, I don't think we're going to see it. Probably anything. be able to see with the cloud cover. Yeah. Did you know that an eclipse never comes alone? A solar eclipse always occurs within two weeks before or after a lunar eclipse. There are usually hmm. two eclipses in a row, but other times there are are three during the same eclipse season. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. This is the first eclipse this season. The second eclipse uh, this season will happen April 8th, and that's the solar eclipse. And you know when the 8th is? Um, the day after Henry the 7th. The yep. Henry the 8th, I am, I am. I'm getting married to the widow next door. She's been married seven times before, and everyone was a Henry. Henry! Yeah, yeah, it's a little slow on the uptake there. No, didn't, that was perfect. Didn't have a Willie or a Sam. I'm her eighth old man. I'm Henry. Henry the eighth, I am. Second verse, same as the first. Uh, yeah, it's, it's so bad that I still remember the yes, that yes. song. I, I have, what was that? I said so bad I still remember the words to that song. Okay. You said, like, I thought you said, what is that song? I said, you just saying, you know what it is. So, yeah. Okay. No, I, I I have sung that a couple times by request. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember it's, the name of the band? Ooh. I, uh, no. I, I, I do and I don't. The name the of the name band of starts with an H. Actually, uh, two H's. It's not the Hollies. It's two uh, H's. Two words. Herman's Hermits. There you go. Very good. 
Yeah, I knew it. I just I was having a brain fart. Now, would you like to go to the thousand dollar level? Yes, please. I need the money. Oh no, you have to pay me. Everyone you get right, you pay me. You send you you sell me money. Ah, I see. Said the blind man as he picked up the hammer and saw. Exactly. All so right. yes. So so pretty cool, right? Yes. That the uh that the uh I didn't, I never, so I didn't know or not know it. Does that make sense? It does. But this is the first time I put it together that, um, that when there's a solar eclipse, there's a lunar eclipse. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. I, I never put that together. I did. I didn't think of them as, but it makes sense because if the sun's got to line up with the moon, the moon's either got to block out the sun or the earth's got to block out the moon. Then it's got to be in the right, you know. Exactly. And so it makes sense, but I never, I never put two that, and two together. There's something else that most people don't take into account. I am fairly certain I remember that the earth and the moon on occasion creates eclipses on the outer planets. When the but, moon but that's even rarer. Sky. And Jupiter aligns with Mars. Exactly. See? Yeah. Just, but unfortunately, peace still didn't rain the planet. So. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. So I already told my, my new friends that we don't talk about politics and religion. And that's why we can't get peace until all that gets straightened out. What? 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 Ooh. 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 Hey, what you're saying? What? It's okay. Um. I had a thing about April Fool's Day. We're not on April Fool's Day. Well, that's what's next, isn't it? No, it isn't. You got to look at the show subject board, man. It's ever changing. And you're the one who changed it. Uh, we just did the lunar eclipse. Astrophysics explain the science behind a once in a lifetime Nova outburst that'll light up the sky this year. Oh, you moved it? The total solar eclipse isn't the only reason to keep your eyes. Why are they talking about the solar eclipse? Why are they talking about the lunar eclipse, too? Um, keep your eyes closed here. For the first time in 80 years. So it's not really once in a lifetime. You could see it twice in your lifetime. Yes, that is true. Um, a star system 3,000 light years away will be visible to the naked eye thanks to a once-in-a-lifetime Nova outburst. Poof. NASA announced that the Nova, which will create a new star in the night sky, will light up the night sky sometime between now and September. The cool part is the star's going to be as bright as the North Star. Yes. One of only five reoccurring nova in our galaxy. Novae? Novae? <laughs> Novae. Novae? N-O-V-A-E. It'll be visible for a week before it fades to black. Pretty cool. So we'll have to watch for that, and we'll have to we'll see when it comes up. And uh, I'm going to have to get my. Hopefully, it'll be decent weather, so I can put the uh, telescope outside. Actually, I'll go out to the property because there's no lights out there. It should be decent. Well, you shouldn't need it, but yeah, it'd be cool if you get some pictures. That'd be even cooler. That's what I try to do. Set that up. I got to learn how to use that damn thing. Yeah, you should, especially if you can get some pictures of some uh, nebulous. Nebulous are freaking awesome in a telescope. If you can get out. If you ever have an opportunity, some people, to look into a telescope and check out some nebulous, they are the most beautiful. They're gas nebulous or gas clouds. Right. And they're Both. purple and blue. They're like the Aurora Borealis, only way cooler. And the color is so bright and, and vivid and it's beautiful. That is something. That is, that's a once-in-a-lifetime thing to see. You can get a telescope and see those. When we had those, when I lived in Pahrump, where there was very little city light out there, oh, God, it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But this is the, uh, the T. Corona Borealis, or T. CRB. Cool. But, yeah, that's the star that's going to go. Bye. -bye. It'll go super right. bright. Well, yeah, that's pretty cool. sometimes things are cooler than other times. This is going to be one of those times. Yep. Rare astronomical event. So hopefully they'll talk about it, but nobody's even 
a brief yet instant display. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 3,000 light years away. That's that a is a far, far away place. And when we see it, it'll already be gone. Oh, yes. It's gone already. Uh, because of the no, it's not. That's how you don't know when it's going to be here. That's why I don't know if it's between now and September. Well, actually, no, man. Yeah, because they have to see it first. I don't know. Maybe they're seeing it build up and then, yeah. Okay. I don't know how long 3,000 light years takes to travel here from where they're looking at it. Yeah, I guess it would be. I I did a little research on that, but I don't remember what it was because, you know, me, oh, I, I something intrigues me. I learn about it. And then since it doesn't really mean anything. Forget about it. Forget about it. Uh, oh, look, we got another one of those fake peoples. Yay. No, they're real people. They just want you to send them money to oh. promote. We, we, we want we want them to send us money to promote us. Yeah, as I just said, you gotta send me money. So, but uh, so guess what's coming up before the next subject? Uh, the GPM. No. No. Are you sure? No, we're not doing a GPM yet. Oh, All right, oh. you think about it. Think about what's coming up. Before before the next show subject, calendar wise, chronologically wise, the next show yeah. subject is April first. But right. something happens. Something, something happens. Happens between now that. and April first. Yep. My brother's so, birthday. So, yes, but that's not what I was talking about. Oh. Um. But think about it. And now we're going to go out to Fun Guy the Entertainer who wrote this ahead of time, so it may not fit anymore. But it might fit even more. Um, take it away. Uh... Hello, hello, fun guy. Can you hear us out in Maya? 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 You like wrote it, not me. The Riviera Maya? You told me you were in Maya. Oh. Well, no matter whether the world treats you gently or not, please keep your kindness because good luck will meet you unexpectedly. And yes, Maya from Milwaukee wrote this on her Facebook page, and I liked it so much I borrowed it, but we're giving her the credit. That's why I said you're Maya. Um, I liked it, right? Sure. Sure. So, so speaking of, because good luck will meet you unexpectedly. Yes. Last night we went out to a New Mexican restaurant, and it is at the uh, Silverton Casino. Okay. So the big joke is, Peggy and I always play seventeen black on roulette, right? Okay. So I said, "All right, come on, everybody, hurry up, let's go." I want to put a hundred dollars down on seventeen black. So we're leaving. I'm heading over to the roulette table, and all of a sudden, nobody's following me anymore. So I have to stop, figure out where they are, find out that my son put $20 in some machine or something like that to win $20, right? He, okay. he saw that it was a good craps bet and there was some kind of crapless craps where he knew that the odds were in his favor. Um, may the odds forever be in your favor. Um, and whatever. So I go up, I'm walking up to the craps table. No more bets. Um, I'm walking up to the roulette table. No more bets. Guess what rolled? 17 black. So then there's another roulette table on the other end. So as I'm walking up to the other one, didn't even get there. Guess what pops up on the wheel? 17 red. No, 17 black. Black. They they, they don't change color, Scott. Oh. 17 is always black. Again, like in sports, you apparently don't know that. I did not. I've only played a few times, but I thought I thought no. each number came in both red and black. No. So it's like a checkerboard pattern on the thing? Yes. Have you not seen one? It's been a long time since I've been in a casino. You know, it's not like I have one in my backyard, Steve. Robot Steve. 
Why don't you have one in your backyard? Because we're gambling is not legal here. See? All right. Black. Yeah, I guess. All right. Teen red. Evens. Notice evens are reds. Odds are black. Okay. Now on this table, on rollout, look at this. Just to really screw things up. Now, if the table is the, uh, that's a different, that's not traditional uh, roulette. But the rollout. Okay. You know what the worst part is? I have a roulette table here in my office. Do you really? I really do. Yeah, they have zero, double zero, and then really the script, yeah, they have triple zero here now. The casinos are not happy with just taking your money. They're happy. They want all of it. They don't want you to have any money fun or anything anymore. Well, well, it's absolutely they ridiculous. Want, they want you to have a good time losing your money. No, not even that anymore. No comps, no free meals, no free drinks. Oh, okay. I mean, if you're sitting at the bar, you don't get free drinks. If you're sitting at the ones on the floor, you can still get free drinks. But yeah, it, and parking costs, you know, 25, 30 bucks. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, they're trying, trying to recoup from the pandemic. But that's pretty funny, though. If I would have put 100 bucks down, that would have been $3,500. I could have walked out of there with seven grand if I could have made those two tables. Obviously, I would have been able to make the other table because they've been paying me on the first table. So I wouldn't right. have made the second one. But yeah, if I would have made that bet. But after it pops up, there's no way you can make the bet. Yeah, You know, it coming up back to back, I didn't have that premonition. But that just shows you that the guy who programmed me just likes to screw with me. There you go. Pretty funny, huh? And ladies and gentlemen, just so you know, even though he's my robot, I did not program him. Oh, yeah, you just work with me. Yep. And he goes, you're not a robot. I go, I am that good of a robot. I am so good of a robot that you don't even know I'm a robot. I don't even know I'm a robot. That's how crazy it is. Not crazy. Yep. Oh, and remember, people, uh, don't look up at the eclipse, please. Don't don't look. Don't look. Yeah, look down. Look down. Look down. Look at the shadow. Uh, welding helmets, I heard, don't even uh, offer the proper protection. Mm, so if you do stare no, at it, I heard you that might would... be able to see. It you might be able to on... see. It depends on the welding helmet. I remember that part now. The ones yeah. that the ones that are automatically darkening when you're welding, you can't use those because it's not bright enough to make it do that. Right. So you have to get the ones that are always dark, and that works. Yeah. Hey. So all right. So so speaking of always works, why isn't Susie on the show tonight? She's sleeping like normal. Well, she is our our royal uh, correspondent. And what the hell's going on with Kate Middleton, dude? Well, I believe I heard she has cancer. Did you hear the whole story on this? Well, again. Well, back in December. Back in December. She went in for surgery, right? Right. And nobody ever saw her leave the hospital. Right. Then picture came out uh, was it mother's day or was it her birthday but it was a photoshop picture of her it wasn't her with, with the kids right yeah it can't be mother's her. day because i don't think mother's day is here yet yeah it might be our birthday or something but there was a picture that came out so that was a that was photoshopped right so nobody's really seen her and this video everybody's out there going oh yeah that's all that's like 98 percent Confirmed by AI that it's a fake video that she has cancer. Then it even got this far. They said, you know the bell they ring when someone in a royal family dies? Okay, yes. Somebody said that bell rang. Oh, well, yeah. People say a lot of shit. Ooh. Look at you, Mr. Hostel, defending the royals. Ah. Uh, uh. You know something? Hey, know? the royals are people, too. You know, so so, huh? so here's what I want to know. What is the point, or what would be the point of keeping her death a secret? That's my question. That's my right. that's my ponder. Yeah. Uh, what what would be the 
the advantage of doing that. Exactly. Why? There, I mean, there are certain present. things like like if the king died and they were in the middle of something really important, they might hold off on it. So that like the TV, could... like the movie Dave. Remember the movie Dave, where they they brought an actor to substitute as the president. Right. You know that makes sense, but she. I mean, obviously she does things, but it's all like personal projects type stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of weird, right? Yes. So, I mean, it's it's like the conspiracy of, and if we keep blowing up these rockets that take off and keep landing them sideways on the moon, right. they're really, it, okay, I'm really having a hard time thinking 40 years ago we landed on the moon. Well, yes. Except the difference is the there was pilots in there making adjustments all the way up till touchdown. Okay, these rockets are blowing up off the pad, dude. Oh yeah, that's another. St- okay, yeah, I don't care. Okay, there's no pilots in a blown up. It blew it up, blown up real good. There's yeah. the picture she Photoshop. That's the Photoshop picture. That's right. Photoshop face in there. Uh, yeah, just so weird. So weird, dude. Conspiracy theories galore. Yes, there is. Kate apologizes for editing the photograph. There's there's always going to be conspiracy theories. Always. Because there are people that just can't take anything at face value. And well, that's it's not all a bad the simulation. Thing. It's all the matrix. That's the other problem. Oh, you know, yeah. I forgot about that part of it. That's why you're a robot, Steve. You can work the matrix. I'm a robot. Yeah. So, but no, it's, it's, um, the, the thing about every con is there's a grain of truth, different kind of con. There's a grain of truth that they can prove and then they write crap around it so people fall for it. All cons start with 80% truth. That's right. That's how they get you. Yep. Because most, you know. most truths are only 20%. Real, you know, when you and I are talking, it's 20% and then 80% is conversation, is colloquialisms and, you know, personal and, and color and stuff like that. Whereas when you do a con, it's 80%. You're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. Until you so, find out you've been had. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of people haven't realized they've been had yet, but that's okay. Everybody's been had. Everybody Everybody's on the hacked. planet has everybody on the planet's been hacked. Yeah. Did you know that? Well, sure. It's official. This last hack that came through, everybody's been hacked. You know what you can't hack though? You know what you can't hack? Boogers. Ooh. Lava lamps. Lava lamp. How awesome. This is, is that? in the lobby of Cloudflare. Cloudflare has arranged 100 lava lamps on one of its walls of the lobby headquarters and has a camera pointing at the lamps. The camera takes photos of the lamps at regular intervals and sends the images to the Cloudflare servers. All the images are stored by computers as a series of numbers, with each pixel having its own numerical value. So each image becomes a string of totally random numbers that the Cloudflare servers can use to start pointing creating security keys. So this is, you can go walk into their lobby and see this. And you still can't crack into their servers. Right. Now, here's my question for you. What do you know to be true about lava lamps? Okay. Now, that's the question. Now, I'm going to give you some background. That is taking pictures at set intervals, right, to, right. to set the code, okay. which would make you believe that they're probably taking these at least every 24, a couple times every 24 hours, right? Okay. So if I'm taking pictures on a regular basis, at least once every 24 hours, I would say once every four hours, maybe even less, right? To get new code so you can't crack it. Okay. What is the truth you know about lava lamps? Real lava lamps. They're pretty... What happens if you leave them on for without turning them off? Well, they get really hot, and then the the oil starts to or is yeah, there's oil in there, right? Wax, yeah, wax and oil starts to deteriorate. 
uh, the wax does, the stuff that blows and starts to break apart, and then your lava lamp doesn't work. And or could actually, the bulb could actually short out and do all that kind of weird stuff like that. Sure. So you're not supposed to leave a lava lamp on 24-7. So do they have random times where they turn maybe. certain lava lamps off? How cool would that be? Maybe, just maybe, cool newer technology lava lamps, and they solve that problem. No? I, I, look, I'm just going for the benefit of the doubt. But I'm saying, wouldn't it be cool, though, if they turn them off on an interval? Because there's 100 of them, which they could do. They could rest it for a while. And that's part of the code, too, right? Because a resting lava lamp would also have a, new, an, uh, uh, yes, a numeric it's a, digit. Or it's whatever. a one or a zero or whatever it is. Yeah, right? yeah. So why can't computers, why, why don't they just create a computer-generated lava lamp and then just do it that way? Okay. See, the, the only thing that makes it difficult for me is if you need to get in there to fix a problem, how do you get the proper encryption? They send it to you, but they have to send it to you. You know, like when you do 2FA, send it to you on your phone? Right? You I know what 2FA two, is, right? Two I do not. Factor authentication. Two-factor authentication. Oh, okay. Do you, okay, you ever, do you ever log means. into something that sends you a text to your phone with a number? Yes. That's called 2FA. I've never heard it called of that. I've heard yeah. Two-factor authentication. Got what it. have you heard it called? Um, Here's your code. Yeah. Okay. That's all they your do. They just said they're sending the code and put it in there. Yeah, it's 2FA. Two-factor authentication. Okay. It's a second-factor authentication. Okay, Tafa. Okay. So, because computers can't generate true randomness, because even they have a pattern, whereas yes. something that is physical, like the lava bulb, those are actually random. Okay. Those are legit random. Like, if they were to have a koi pond with fish, and they filmed the fish swimming around. Okay, now, if you wanted, sure. Now, if you wanted to hack it, how would you hack a koi pond? Uh, freeze the pond? Sure, you could do that, or you could feed the fish, and all the fish ah. would come for food. Well, yeah, they would, but again, they're still moving when they do that, and they'll they'll be moving a lot more at that point. Yeah, but they'll all be when they're all feeding, they'll all be in that pile, and then you can steal that code, whatever. But yes, so computers cannot generate randomness as much as nature can be actually random. Mm hmm. I like it. So crazy, yeah. Crazy, it's man. It's pretty cool they're using lava lamps to, to keep the world secure. I like it. Okay. I wonder I wonder if the robot, uh, the, the, the security guys they have watching that are, you know, wearing cost headphones. And smoking There's dope. no security guys watching it. It's just in the lobby of the cloud. Okay. It, it's, it's in the lobby of their building. Should have gone with it, Steve. Okay. 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 Oh, what, what, what are the security guards yeah. watching, Scott? Not what they're watching. They're listening to... Everything that's going on, never mind. Just keep going. What are they listening to, Scott? I'm they're sure listening so. to our show. Yes, they're listening to all the reruns. They're listening to our. Hey show guys, go shake there. up the, go shake the lava lamps. Yeah. Let me on this. turn one upside down. Well, that that'll still work, but uh, maybe I don't know. Putting a metal cap yeah. in there. Yeah, it'd be weird. I learned okay. something new during, during my search. You're supposed to learn something new every day. I didn't. I did not know this. The did the don't know show did not know this. All right. What did you not know, or what did we not know? Well, you love Walmart so much. Did you know that Walmart is opening its third milk processing plant? Uh, no, I did not know that. But yeah, what third? Okay. Like third. I didn't know they opened any. I didn't either. The the facility is expected to create nearly 400 new local jobs and furthers Walmart's commitment to deliver high quality milk to its customers. It's going to open I, in Texas, in Robinson, Texas, in 2026. I get my milk and my eggs and my butter from Quick Trip because they grow everything here in Wisconsin and Minnesota. Seriously, Quick Trip is cheap enough? Yep. It's not more expensive than the grocery store? Nope. Cheaper than the grocery really? store. 
usually. You have to be careful sometimes. Not here. Because obviously a grocery store has a sale, you know, like. I'm yeah, yeah, sales don't count. I'm talking about yeah. just regular shelf. Anybody can, but, they can do a sale to do cheaper. Right now, a dozen eggs at both the grocery store and Quick Trip are two ninety nine, which is really annoying because it's Easter time. They're usually under a dollar. So if I go to get milk at the grocery store, it's three sixty nine. At Quick Trip, it's three forty nine a gallon. Well, our life sucks here in Vegas because we are the fourth, the fourth, second highest food costs right now in the nation. Really? Yeah. How sucky is that? Pretty sucky. Yeah, really bad. So, so, really, really so, bad. so is your your extra value meal at McDonald's over twenty dollars now? I don't know. I don't eat at McDonald's. Well, probably. But do you know what I did find out? Uh, milk at Amazon is cheaper than the milk at Target or Kroger or Safeway or uh, Albertsons. Okay. Isn't that weird? By like a dollar. Well, not really, like 75 cents. I don't understand it because they'd have to ship it, which means it has to be an insulated container with things in it. I can't believe that. Well, no. Amazon has a uh, Whole Foods. Yeah, okay. I forgot about that. We don't have that here yet. Yeah, but that's weird that it was cheaper to build with cheaper. Now, everything else is more expensive. Bagels are yeah. more expensive. Wonder Bread was more expensive. But milk was cheaper. Does it body good? I thought that was weird too. I agree. Very weird. Uh, Maybe they're sorry. selling you the leftover milk. Yeah, you want to know what else is weird? Yes, Steve. What else is weird? Well, what else is weird, Scott? Tell me. Uh, Just read what I have written there. The next things subject. made in China. Yeah. So. For some reason, China decided they were going to make electric vehicles. Weird. Okay. Okay, you ready? Here they come. Sure. Okay. It's kind of like a smart car that is tall and skinny versus mm -hmm. short and squatty. I'm thinking that just flips over. Do you remember, remember a TV show called Laugh-In where the guy rode the tricycle? Yes. And then he would just stop and then it would fall over on it. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking right there. That uh, is crazy. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that's weird? Look at this one. Okay. We An have electric those double decker here. bus. Yeah. Does Y Drive have any of those? We do not, but there are a couple in the area. Electric ones? Oh, oh yeah. Small I ones didn't like think that? About that? They're probably not electric. Small ones like that? Look how small it is. Uh, I think that is the middle. picture. I don't think it's really as small as you think it oh, is. No, um, it is. Okay. Do you remember what the subject was? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Small and weird. Small and weird. Check out this electric boat. It, okay. It, kind of so weird basically what they did is they took a wave runner and turned it into a boat. Yep. Okay. Look at that little boat. A little pickup truck. You've seen okay. those. They're trying to get those here in the United States, and they yep. keep getting blocked. Yeah. Look yeah, how small it is. A little Kubota motor. The bucket's probably bigger than the back, but cool. Got a solar panel on top. Look at this. It came. That's the crate. He's uncrating it. Okay. It says it says tiny electric car still comes in a fairly large box. Ning Hong. I think that's it. Is that it? <laughs> that boat's pretty cool. It almost looks like he's pedaling it, but that's cool. The little boat. <laughs> yeah. That's the electric car for senior. That's not one of theirs. They've been promoting that like crazy on um, pop ups. Here's another one. How small they are. Yeah. I'm thinking they're so upright. All right. That's it. That's the end of that one. But yeah, okay. so that's weird. I it think is. that's weird. Totally strange, Steve. All right, Scott. International Monetary Fund, IMF. Okay. Okay. What is the what denomination bill 
two part question. Let me finish it before you go. Are there the most of in circulation right now in the United States? Maybe the world. Uh, so what dominate first off, how many different denominations are there? Many. Okay. You're What's talking about US US dollar only, correct? US dollars. Denominations, okay. bills, not coins. The ones that you're still able to use as a regular person are ones, twos, fives, tens, twenties, fifties, and one hundreds. That's correct. There are seven. So of those seven, what do you think are the most in circulation? Twenties. They're number three. I always find that very hard to believe. Well, what would you need more of? Technically sure. singles, but... Yes, yeah. singles. But guess what just happened for the first time ever? Singles are no longer the number one circulation, circulated bill in the United States. What took over that position? And it can't be 20s because that was number three. So I'm going to have to go with hundreds. It is. It's hundreds. There are now more hundreds in circulation than singles. Why do you think that is? Because everything's so freaking expensive. Do you use hundreds very often? Uh, almost everybody I know uses credit cards or debit cards. Right. Do you? So there's the green line is the ones, and boom. The blue line is the hundreds. Boom. Took it over. The orange line is the 20s. So why do you think, why do you think, that hundreds finally are more than singles. What do you use more? And, and when you're using if bills. you're using bills, what are you using more of? Well, because of how expensive things are, you know, you go to the grocery store and your bill is two hundred and ten dollars. You give them two one hundred dollar bills and a ten dollar bill. Okay, what do they give you for change? Well, they usually give you a well, it depends, singles. But, oh, that's only if it didn't come out to an even five. Okay, so ten. all the groceries you buy come out to exactly tens. Uh, no, again, I just use a card. So I can't tell you the last time you used cash at a grocery store. So you're just well, going to be, so you're just going to, you can't even guess that. You can't even guess that if I was to go out and use cash to buy stuff, what I would have the most of in my wallet. Well, obviously, if you have five $100 bills in your wallet, you have 500 bucks, and it's only five bills. Everything else, you have more bills, which takes up more space. Yeah, I'm talking about usage, Scott. Right. How many times are you going to use that $100 bill? Uh, you got a $100 bill, okay? You're going shopping. You're going to three places. Okay. Okay? You ready? Sure. Hi, Scott. Here's your gas. You bought gas. You bought twenty six dollars worth of gas. What do you give? Okay. Me? Well, if all I have is a hundred dollar bill, I'm giving them a hundred dollar bill. What do you get back? Uh, fifty and a twenty, and I can't remember what number you gave four me. Four ones. Some okay, four ones. Yeah. Now, how many is four ones compared to the number of hundreds you have left? More or less. I you bleeped out somehow. No, you you bleeped out somehow. No, it went bleep in my okay. ear. You would you would use more ones, Scott. Okay. You would use more ones. Use more ones. So then how because did one hundred dollar bills go above it? That's why you just froze up. So I'm having internet problems or you're having internet problems. Probably me. Let's see how long it takes for you to come back. Let's see if you even hear me. Since you're frozen solid. Ooh. Ooh, this is the longest it's ever been. Hey, folks, this is what happens when, when the internet has problems. I don't know if, well, yeah, it's, again, it might be my router. If uh, all my stuff disconnected, then that's exactly what it is. 
Yep, it disconnected. So there it went. All my stuff went down again. Let's see if we come back here. Says we're still being live streamed. So let's see if I get Steve back. See what happens here. See if we get Steve back. Looks like we're still recording. Looks like Twitch is still live. But I'm having trouble getting Steve back. Let's see. Wow. It's never been this bad before. Mm, message from the dark side there. All right, apparently Steve's internet dropped. He managed to get through to me on the phone. So we'll see what happens here. Okay. Says it's still down. I might have to put this on pause. We're at the end of the show, which is kind of weird. Red light on the router. Oh, he's not going to be able to come back. So I'm going to cancel or shut this down now. If uh, if he gets back, we'll start back up again, but we probably won't because it's at the end of the show anyway. So anyway, thanks for being here tonight. Um, don't forget to you know tell everybody about us. Um, I want you to like, subscribe, and share, and have yourself an absolutely wonderful day or night or week or life. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Just different uh -huh.